Hello developers, welcome to Zango full core series. In this video, we are going to install the bootstrap templates in the Zango framework. Okay, when I say bootstrap, it is an open source and which is going to provide the JavaScript and CSS files and HTML basic code, okay, to get started. So you don't have to do the UA development from the scratch. Okay, so UA based templates are already built on bootstrap, okay, which are readily available in the internet for free. So you just download them and you can just install them in the Zango framework. Without wasting further time, let's go ahead and download the bootstrap template and install it in the Zango framework. Okay. So here is a website start bootstrap as long as it is going to provide the free templates which are built on the bootstrap. Okay. So I'm just going to download one of the templates from this list of templates and this looks nice and clean. Okay. Let me just click on this free download option. So this template will be installed. Okay just opening this template so it is a zip file so inside this zip file there is a folder which contains the list of the files index file javascript file css file and assets file okay just copying these files okay coming back to the python and going to the zango zango codes code that project and we have a file called folder called templates so inside this templates folder i'm just pasting those files which are downloaded from the template okay now let's go to the visual studio and let me refresh here if you see here now we have the assets folder css folder and javascript folder okay so this assets css js are the static files and home page is a html file okay now we have the html file called home page which was earlier was there and index is the new file which we have downloaded from the bootstrap template okay now i'm just closing this home page i'm just deleting our home page template earlier template just deleting it okay going to the index i'm just renaming it as home page.html okay and opening the server and let me cancel it clear the screen and re-execute it okay here i'm coming to the browser just closing this window i'm just refreshing this home page so if you observe carefully this web page is not displaying the content in the beautiful way as we have expected it should display okay the reason is in the home page.html it is referring this styles.css file okay which are available in this css folder okay styles.css okay so to access the static files so javascript and css and assets folder whatever the basic images or basic files are called as a static files in the Zango framework. So to access the static files in the Zango framework, so we have to specify them like how we are specifying the template files. So we have to go ahead and create a folder called static folder and we have to place all the static files in those static folder and we have to go to the settings.py file and we have to mention that hey Zango, we have created the folder called static and here is the path for that. So whenever the templates are trying to access this uh, static files, just go ahead and look into that folder okay so let's copy the concept what we have done for the templates folder okay just selecting this manage.py creating a folder called static okay and i'm opening this templates file and i'm just copying this static to sorry assets to static yes and css to static yes and javascript to static okay now we have more the files from templates folder to assets css javascript into the static folder okay now let me open the settings.py file at the project level okay i'm opening it and i'm just going to the down and here if you see here static url is there right now we have to mention the static files directories okay and here we have to mention the in a list okay static slash okay now so we have created a folder called static and we have moved all the css javascript assets files into that static folder and here in the settings file so we have specified that path with the name of static files directories so whenever the template files wants to access the static files so zango framework tells them hey they have created a folder called static there they have placed all the static files just go ahead and look into that folder okay i'm just closing here and coming back to this home page.html so here to use those static files concept in the homepage.html template file so we have to have the one template tag which is provided by the zango framework just type in load static okay to mention this tag in the starting of the template file it says that it imports the static files which are there in the static folder okay now here coming to this link so what we have to do is have to just 
open curly brace and close curly brace followed by the percentage symbol then we have to mention static in single quotes just paste copy paste this link path okay static this followed by the path and same goes for the assets favicon icon as well okay flower brackets opening and closing followed by the percentage symbol and static in single quotes just copy this one okay i'm just saving this one and in the bottom there would be a javascript file as well yeah here it is a javascript this is also a static file so just repeat the same process okay static and copy paste this link path and then paste it here okay just coming back here and i'm refreshing it okay so now you could see a beautiful page okay because this home page.html is able to access the javascript and css files which are there in the static folder so whenever you are using any css or javascript files so we have to create a folder called the static and we have to mention that path of that static folder in the settings.py file in the zango framework then we have to mention this load static tag in the starting of the template file to import those static files concept okay and wherever the, we are accessing that links so we just have to go with this static template tag which was provided by the zango framework then our template file will be able to access the static files okay now we have this page okay this is a home page now we have to copy paste and create it for the about us and contact us page okay just copying this concept and going to the contact us saving it and going to the about us okay now if you see here carefully okay as i have explained earlier in the previous videos so we have some repetitive code like this um, header navigation bar and uh, this footer okay these two are repeating for each and every page so instead of repeating it each and every page what we are going to do is we are going to keep this code of this template file in the base.html okay let's go ahead and do that let me open the existing base.html i'm just closing this one deleting that and coming to the home page.html file and again here what i'm doing is i'm just going to copy this one till where mm, till header we can copy okay just control x control v okay just take in the complete navigation bar and the header okay and coming back here we have the footer section also let's just copy and coming to the base.html file and again i am pasting it here okay and i am saving it okay now we have the header and footer in the base.html file coming back to the home page.html now let's import that okay percentage percentage load static okay now we have to include that right percentage percentage extends so we are extending it to the base.html okay we have the base.html and saving it coming back here and i'm refreshing it okay it's not displaying base.html extends base.html must be the first tag okay sorry uh, let's remove this static we are already importing this last static in the base.html right so we don't have to use it coming back here and i'm refreshing it okay if you see here it is not displaying the main content it is only displaying the header and footer okay the reason is we have just extended the base.html okay now we have to have this content right whatever this home page.html to display this home page.html in the base.html view okay we have to come back here here we have to specify that we have to block some content and in the base.html same that block of content whatever we are going to have it in the home page.html will be displayed okay just I don't want to confuse guys so just do this okay uh, block content okay and here just end the block okay so what we are doing is we are saving this space to display the content which is coming from the home page.html and copy this one here and coming to here here we have to say that here is the content of the block okay and here 
we are closing that okay in the page.html we are saving the space for the content okay in the home page.html we are mentioning the what is the content to be displayed in that whatever the blocked content okay that's what we are doing and coming back to here and i am refreshing it now if you see here the data is displaying as expected okay but but this data is coming from the base.html and whatever this middle data which is coming from the home page.html okay now let's copy and repeat it for the rest of the files copying it for the contact us and same goes for the about us okay now what i'm going to do is let's make small small, small changes here okay and i'm refreshing it okay first title i wanted to get it changed okay for the title i'm just going to the base.html and here i'm just changing it to kotha ad okay kotha ad just changing it yeah it has been changed same will be changed for the about a space as well it has been changed okay fine now the next thing is i wanted to create this navigation bar right so whenever user clicks the about it should go to the about us page okay but currently it is not working so let's implement that concept okay urls in the zango framework for that one i'm just coming to the views here sorry i'm just coming to the urls.py file here okay here we have given the path followed by the url and the name of the view right just add one more argument here which is called the name name is going to be the home page name okay and here for the about us name is equals to about us and same goes for the contact us okay contact us okay so we have given names to our urls for one for the home page and about us for the about us and contact us for the contact us now i'm coming back to the base.html here we have this navigation bar right we have about and services and contact so let's change them home and about us about and contact pages okay let me just refresh it so here the names have been changed to home about and contact okay now what i am doing is in the link href okay we have to provide the link of the home page okay for that one just have to use this curly braces again same thing and here we have to mention the url concept url in the template tag followed by the name which we have given for this view okay in the urls.py we have given it as a home page name for this path right so just go ahead and use that home page okay and for the about us you have to repeat the same process okay what does i'm just copy paste it and here it is what is it about us yeah about us and contact us contact us okay i'm just saving it and i'm refreshing it okay contact not found let's just check it out contact us okay it's not contact it's contact us right yeah contact us change it and let me refresh it if you see here we are in the home page okay when i click here it is showing that home page when i click the about it is going to the about us page see here the url has been changed when i click on the contact it has been changed to the contact us page okay let's do some changes in this uh, page content so that we can identify it okay and coming to the home page.html and i'm just going to have the uh, welcome to kota ad okay and i'll just remove these two lines code okay that is what for the home page okay welcome to kota ad okay just say that let me remove this one and i'm just going to mention this is a home page okay home page okay just saving it and i'm copy pasting this one and going to the contact us page here i wanted to have the this is a contact us page okay and saying goes for the about us page 
इसे से about us page okay and even the sections also about us page will have about us section I'm removing the service and contact section from here okay and the contact us I'm just removing the contact us section now oh, let's have only contact section and I'm removing the rest of the sections okay in the home page let's have the let me remove the about us and have only the services section I'm just removing the contact section okay save it and I'm refreshing it okay welcome to Kothai this is a home page and here it is saying the services we offer okay and going to the about us space you see here welcome to Kothai this is an about us space and about us content and same goes for the contact page this is a contact us space and here is a contact us information and if you see here here I could see that start bootstrap is there which is not the correct one so we have to change it to our name Kothai okay let's go ahead and do that go to the base.html and where we have start bootstrap right just close that kota head okay saving it here also we have to provide the link to the url home page url right just going to copy paste this one and remove it hash okay this is coming whenever i click in the water space when i click on this logo it will come to the home page okay and even this footer also we have to change okay i'm just coming to the footer and there is the copyright section yes here is the copyright section your website my website is kota ad and the year is 2024 okay saving it and i'm refreshing it it has been changed in the home page and same will reflect in the water space and same will reflect in the contact us page so if you make the changes in the page.html it will be applicable in the all the pages okay so that's the advantage when you split up the pages okay so in this video we have downloaded the bootstrap template and we have copied all these template files into the template section and we have created a folder called static and where we have kept the css javascript and assets files in the static folder and in the settings.py file okay we have went to the settings.py file and we have specified the static files directory's path okay and we are telling it to the zango hey zango whenever any template file is trying to access the static files so just come and look into the the static folder where the css and javascript files are available okay that's the static files concept in the zango framework and second thing what we have learned is in the url section we have provided the name for the each and every url home page about us and contact us pages so the same urls we have used it as a by using the zango framework templates so we have specified that url followed by the name which we have given in the urls.py file okay home page for the home page about us for the about us contact us for the contact us page okay this is how you guys can create the static urls in the zango framework and this is how you guys can implement it in the template files and in the base.html we have blocked the content and same that content has been used to display the content of the respective page for the home page content for the home page and contact us content for the contact us page and about us content for the about us page okay so with the help of this Django provided templates so we have installed the bootstrap template successfully in the website okay so in the coming video i'm going to explain how to connect to the mysql database from the zango framework okay so stay tuned to our channel for the more zango videos thank you thanks for watching this video